Elizabeth Esty from Connecticut's 5th District. We saw a 15-year-old young woman with her child. We couldn't talk to her because she was too young. And you think of how afraid you must be to risk your life and your six-month-old child to make a month-long journey to come to this country. And then you find yourself on a concrete floor covered with mylar. This is a humanitarian crisis, and the chaos that this president has sowed is leaving these children and families afraid. They spent a month, they don't got no message from TV, they should turn around and go home. These agents are concerned and confused. They are public servants trying to do their job. We need consistency and compassion out of this administration and to work with us to solve this problem and not to call these people, these children, people who are infesting our country. It's insulting, it's wrong, and it's dangerous. We need to do better. My name is Anna Eshoo, and I uh, represent uh, the 18th Congressional District in California, Northern California. Uh, I think that my colleagues have given um, very apt descriptions of what we have seen so far today. Uh, I can't help but think, is, uh, is this the art of the deal? Is this the art of the deal? There isn't anything artful there isn't anything really lawful about it. In fact, uh, my questions have been along the lines of due process because we have national and international laws that apply. Uh, the agencies here are trying to do their best. This is a law enforcement agency and uh, it really is murky trying to uh, call out where due process comes in. I can't tell you, I've asked the questions I don't know. Uh, but I think that the president has brought great shame to a great country. And, uh, and we have to fight this and work to correct it. Uh, and I think that uh, he thought that no one was really going to pay attention to zero tolerance. And what I'm proudest of is that a nation has risen and said we have zero tolerance for what we have just witnessed. Thank you. Hi, I'm Diana DeGette from Colorado. And you know, most of the people who are here are here fleeing violence in their home countries. When we see this, it's really un-American that we would treat individuals like this in this way as a country. A number of the border agents told us, we asked them what should be done. They said, we need immigration reform. And guess what, we do. We have a broken, unhinged system where nobody knows where anybody's going. That's why we have over 2,000 kids who still haven't been reunited with their families. That's why we need to pull it together. We need to have a, a seamless agency that will make this work. And that's why today I think we need to have some kind of a person in the administration, an immigration czar, so that once these kids come into this uh, this holding room from the border until they're reunited with their families and their cases are decided. It's a seamless trend and we can do that. We're the best country in the world. I'm Susan Del Bene from Washington State and I wanted to be here so I could see for myself what is happening right here at our border um, to understand the impacts that the president's policies have had on our country. This president has put together hateful policy, hateful. He talks about immigrants as an infestation. Um, he has, since he has been our president, yet I, before I came here at home, I met with uh, someone who had received asylum, a young man who had crossed the border uh, years ago. Um, he's going to college. He's going to start at Western Washington University. He has an aspiration to be an attorney. He is going to do great things here, right here in the United States. Many of these young people that we saw today, they have incredible potential to do that same thing and be incredible members of our community. So we must stand up and Congress must act. And I think 
the one other thing we should be very concerned about is the systems that are in place to match parents with their children who they have been separated from. It's unclear how those work. I think we need to understand in a lot of detail exactly how they're keeping records so that we can make sure that every child is um, able to be reunited with their family. Thank you. All right, uh, these are some of the words uh, being used by the some 25 members of Congress who have uh, had access to a detention facility there in McAllen, Texas. Barbaric, heartbreaking. It's shocking, outrageous. It's a prison. They are in cages. I'm quoting a variety of lawmakers um, and their points of view. We do not treat people who are seeking asylum this way. And then you heard from one lawmaker who said he saw mounds of mylar on the floor and then saw it moving and little girls emerged. Another lawmaker saying a humanitarian crisis, there needs to be consistency and compassion. Um, what response might come from the White House as a result of these points